I'm waiting for this car to like lurch forward and just punch a hole through my garage door. <laughs> there you go, you guys catch that? Well, that's uh, new to this update. The pedestrians are walking, they've got a gate. Where before they were just a, a mannequin that kind of slid across. Uh, now they've got a, a walk to them, look at that. And, and a direction. Not, not just a, um, they've got a, uh, a path of travel and a way, a way to face. Uh, where before it was just a pedestrian, it was just a, a solid um, icon of a pedestrian and they just moved along in the scene. Oh, I got the bicyclist. Oh my goodness. This is a cool update. These guys are killing it. Baby stepping it. I dig it. So many cones. Uh, Self-driving preview here. And this is just, this is genius. Uh, of Tesla to give people the confidence. The more you see that it, it nailed the, the arrows here, or I was th thankful to have found a, um, a YouTube video that just runs for four hours of somebody taking a, uh, a tour of Hawaii. Uh, you guys might have had that uncle that just ha you had a VHS tape out and just recorded everything, him walking up and down stairs at some monument or whatever. Um, so it was, <laughs> it's just a YouTube version of that. Uh, but God bless them because now we've got. Let's see, I'm going to detect these. Let's see. I'm just try and roll forward. There we go. I've noticed sometimes rolling forward, it'll refresh stuff there. I found some more of those traffic lights. We see all these pedestrians walking by. If we were doing this out in the real world, it would be nailing these folks, just uh, highlighting them as, as, uh, as, as walkers. Same thing goes for motorcyclists, that kind of thing. But it's not doing it here. And I think it's because. See that bus go by? When you see the other vehicles on here in this uh, self-driving preview, and again, that's what I was talking about earlier, genius for them to put this in here and get people uh, to get comfortable with what the car can detect. You know, every time it, it's, it sees a trash can and you go, oh yeah, I see that same trash can. Oh, it saw it too. You start to build confidence in the system. Oh, I've got these turn lanes. Oh yeah, it knows I'm in an HOV lane or a, a carpool lane. Um, you build confidence, so it's very, very smart to have this in here. There's no, re there's nothing that says you have to do this if you're an automaker that's trying to do some of these uh, autonomous features. There, it showed those lights uh, as green. That's correct. It's not getting rid of this other one here. There might be something in the view um, of the camera. I don't know why I'm waving here. That's the camera <laughs> up there, but there might be something that's not letting that thing refresh. But all this other stuff's refreshing. It gets the lines. The reason it doesn't get the vehicles and the reason it doesn't get the pedestrians, the motorcyclists and the like, uh, is because it uses a sensor fusion. It uses, uh, you know, ultrasonic and, um, you know, maybe, you know, some versions of uh, radar determine that that car has this much mass and is about this shape. And then it goes looking in the video and it says, well, wh where else can I find something that matches that shape and, and size and, um, you know, color combination? Uh, in, in Z height, and it goes, oh, those two look like they line up really well. Bam, I'll fuse them together and show show the vehicle on here. Uh, and I, I think it's a truck, or I think it's a, a boxed truck or a sedan. And then it paints a little sedan in here. Um, you see, it's getting all these cones. It's, so cones, lines, um, trash cans, semaphores, or traffic lights, it's all vision-based solely. Um, they're not shooting radar up into the sky to try and find those traffic lights. It's just doing it over vision, but it's doing a great job. It's nailing them. They're about where they are in relationship to uh, ego or the, the vehicle that I'm in. Um, and they also are, are nailing the state of the light, the, the color code of the traffic light. Um, very, very impressive. There we go. Yeah, so when this, when this thing was on the, on the freeway, it was the lines were kind of dancing and, and not jittery, but like smoothly moving along like they were in real time uh, tied to this video feed. And they were doing a really, really good job of it. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, they were getting the, the traffic force. And every once in a while it offers me, um, <laughs> it, it's so confident in these lanes that it offers uh, autopilot up here. And <laughs> for a moment, just to see what would happen. Um, if it was here, I'd do it now. Actually, let me try and do it. No, it doesn't like it. If we back up, um, it would have tried to pull up to this line. It's confident that it's got a line and, and now these traffic. Then it would it would offer to go forward uh, through that uh, through those traffic lights. Um, it also thinks that there's it thinks that there's um, some sort of a traffic rule, a reason to stop here, maybe a crosswalk or something. That that solid line there, and that's because of. When, when I pulled up to the screen here that I've got in the garage, it detected the bottom of the screen or the uh, the bottom of my garage door as a line, and I've it remembered that 
and it, may be, it might even be able to see it in the in its uh, you know field of view here, and it it'll stay there uh, because I haven't rolled past it. I've actually moved my wheels. I'm going zero miles an hour right now. Ooh, here we go. I'm gonna try and. <laughs> All right. So now it's detected that um, it's gonna try and go forward. Oh, no, it stopped. It's staying here because it thinks I'm at that traffic light back there. It's probably going to yell at me. I'm giggling. This is the, this is the, this is the death giggles uh, because I'm waiting for this car to, like, lurch forward and just punch a hole through my garage door. <laughs> but it won't, it won't right now because um, I have to acknowledge, I have to tap down or press the accelerator uh, pedal uh, in order to tell it, yes, it's okay to go through this traffic light. There, see, it's gone green. Uh, it's following this truck and the person in front of me. And I was mistaken uh, earlier about the... Um, it's using vision and some uh, ultrasonic and uh, maybe radar uh, for this stuff. Uh, but right now, it's, it still thinks I'm back at that previous stoplight um, when it offered up autopilot and I took it. Um, and so now we're just going to see this truck. It might, it might think that... We don't know. Like We'd have to be able to um, overlay... Uh, this, sorry, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble forming my words because my foot's like hovered over so gently over the brake pedal, getting ready to like slam on the brakes as this thing tries to lurch, leech, lurch forward here. Uh, what I noticed, I saw some pedestrians there earlier, so that's awesome. What I was saying earlier is that uh, the the line, the red line here, it still thinks we're back many blocks ago at that where I engaged it initially. Um, and now it just, it's confused. It's trying to, it thinks the world's changing around it, but it, it assumes that I'm still sitting at that spot. Um, so it's just updating what's in front of me. Uh, it's doing a very, very good job of it. This is amazing guys, because, um, I thought that a lot of this stuff about, oh, I'm going to stop at this next stoplight or uh, stop sign. So I, I thought that that was a lot of fusion of map data. So it knew that there was an intersection there. It can make some assumptions about where a stop sign would be put, where a crosswalk would go according to maps. I thought they might've had some, uh, you know, annotated data that got put into their uh, model to know that that's where a uh, thing is. Oh, that's gonna confuse the, like uh, made me sick looking at it. The person doing this video like rotated to catch the wharf over here. He's gonna hopefully come back to center here in a minute. We are putting a hurting on this vision system, guys, because the, the camera that's in the, this gentleman's car, uh, that's sexist, but the, the guy that's recording this is uh, occasionally panning it up and down to catch things like tall buildings, and you know, God, God only knows what kind of cool stuff he's talking yeah, There's more of that. Uh, yeah, as far as maps go, this thing has a good idea of where I am, the car that is, um, and so you know, it could be fusing more and more of that stuff, but um, or saying, no, you're not, you're definitely not driving. On the, you know, we're near a traffic sign, so we're going to take that out. But they want to make the, sim the system nimble enough to take into account, like, a new section of your town that might have opened up, you know, or, or some kind of new addition to your neighborhood. This thing would be able to adapt to that. Maybe the stop sign was run over by a drunk driver or some, you know, teenager doing crazy duke turns. Uh, but then later it got reinstalled. So you having this system be able to be uh, adaptive is... is very beneficial um, to a self-driving kind of situation. So really, really impressed with this thing being vision. There's more pedestrians. Uh, fire hydrant that it thinks is a cone. Let's see. Yeah, pedestrians off on the side. I wonder if we'll slow down here. here. Oh, let's watch here, watch here. It got it. See, there, there it was. So um, yeah, this thing's doing an awesome job. All right, this is just a fun, goofy thing. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I was just gonna do this anyways, and then I was like, well, why don't I take my my YouTube friends along for the ride and see what kind of goofy things I, I do in the garage here sometimes. So I just want to like experiment with something and see, you know, how how far can I take this? Uh, and today it involved getting some towels out to block the headlights so that I could have so that the camera in the Tesla could have a better view of the world, um, and then also finding a long form video that now I might be regretting a bit. So go ahead and put those comments down, uh, those suggestions down in, in the, the, the section below, and I'll see if, how many of I can get to you know, in, in the coming weeks, and we'll goof around with this, and maybe, maybe we put it up on blocks. I don't know. Let me know. What are you guys thinking?